Dear Tilly, we were already so in love with you. So little. She wouldn't stop screaming because she didn't know where she was. And she, we have these funny pictures of her just like freaking out. I remember her being such like a little cuddler. She was so desperate for affection. And every morning, she would be at the foot of the bed. And she would pretend to be asleep. And so then I would like go to sleep. And she would crawl up. And if I put my head up, she would pretend to be asleep. And then she would do it all again until she would end up on my chest. And we would cuddle every morning. When you first got here, I really wasn't a pig person. It kind of freaked me out. <laughs> You were loud, you were out there. She was just like this light. And um, I remember when we decided to get her spayed. And um, Penny and mom had to work. So it was dad and I who were gonna bring her to the vet. And I remember getting her in the car and she pooped everywhere and she was just screaming. She was like, how could you? You're betraying me. Like she was not happy about it. But then as soon as we got her in the car and we had her laid down, she was like in my lap. She was just a little sock and she was just, that was my last like memory of her was in the car. And then just handed her over to the vet. And I remember we came home and we were like, I was, I was so excited to see her all loopy from the drugs and she was gonna be like a sleepy little baby. Um, and I remember it was a few hours. It was like a long time. And I remember turning to dad and saying, it's been a long time. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to take this long. And literally 10 minutes after I'd said that, the vet called and um, said that they had tried everything they could, but she had passed away. So we're moving to a new place, Tilly. It's a lot of room, lots of room for pigs to run, to go have zoomies, 